This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by... your YOLO vacation. Hey, I'm Callie, your land and cruise expert. I specialize in fun across Europe, the Caribbean, and even Hawaii. Whether you are traveling by land or by sea, the person to book it, of course, would be me. We are here at Wild Birds Unlimited in Cherville, where we are proud to be announcing that my beautiful friend here, the owl formerly known as Tonks, has now been renamed, and his new name is Harrison. Hi, Harrison. How are you? Really? And are are you still, even though you have a new name, are you still dating Ariana Grande or having a thing with her? That's what I thought. Has she broken up with you? That that name just hurts, right? But how are the Cubs going to do this year? Because I know they're your favorite team. That's what I think, too. I think this could be the year. Anyway, we're going to hand the microphone over to Nicole because she is Harrison's mommy for all intensive purposes. And she's going to tell us a little bit about Harrison and a little bit about why we have a new name for the owl formerly known as Tonks. So Harrison um, was originally brought into the rehab center back in um, April of 2018. He had fallen out of the nest as a chick and had sustained a break to his right wing. Um, X-rays let us know that he would never be able to fly well enough to hunt. And so he was made a permanent ambassador at a really young age. Um, Ever since then, he's been coming out with us to the see the public and to be able to share kind of our mission at the the, uh, wildlife rehab and that we have this beautiful species here in the region Um, and for the past two years he's been coming with us here to Wild Birds Unlimited in Cherville and visiting Carol and the customers that come in and she absolutely fell in love with him and actually decided to sponsor him Um, and so sponsoring means that she's actually covering the cost of his care for the year and um, she was able to name him as a result. And so Harrison um, is actually the name, if I get this correctly, from President Harrison, um, because he started a lot of the park systems and he was from Indiana. um, And so there's that wonderful kind of regional connection there to that name um, and kind of speaks to the overall environment of our area. Um, So we always love coming out here and supporting them um, as much as they support us um, and being able to share him with our community. Perfect. Well, Nicole and Harrison, thank you so much for coming out and educating the public about all the cool birds and wildlife that we have here in the Northwest Indiana area. And thank you so much for being a very awesome ambassador and going out and seeing all the kids and all the people and telling them all the cool stuff. We love you. And thank you, Carol and Wild Birds Unlimited in Cherville for all the amazing things that you do and for sponsoring this handsome gentleman. The entire time, like, I'm looking for cues, like the body language I was telling you about. I'm looking for cues from him that he's just had enough. Like, if he starts to get antsy or if he starts to get nervous because there's too many people, I've got his kind of transport box right here, and I just show it to him, and he'll hop right into it. So I can give him a timeout if he needs it and then maybe bring him back out a little bit later. But he's so he's so chill. I mean, he's been hanging out with me since two weeks old. So he's been in in front of the public since he was about six months old. So th- this isn't new to him. So is he, he's totally cool he uh, attached to that? Is there something around his tail? Yeah, so he's got anklets, which are permanent. Um, well, they can be cut off, but they always stay on him. Um, and then whenever him and I go out for a program, these kind of leather straps here will go through the grommets on the anklet um, and then attach to this lead, and then we can go out. Um, the reason that he is actually carabinered onto here is that if something were to spook him, you know, somebody knocks something over and it's really loud, or somebody accidentally knocks into this, trips over it or something, he's not going to get up and, and fly, um, because one, he's a really poor flyer, and two, he's probably going to injure himself 
on all the different things around here it is safer for him to be on here um, he can get far enough away that if it does and I mean it's got a nice base on it but god forbid it does flip over mm -hmm. um, he's not gonna get he's got enough of a lead that he can get away from it and it not fall on him how old is he about a year and a half he'll be two in April Oh, this is like a very educational. And what's their life experience? 25 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're really fortunate. Yeah. Um, you know, this wonderful young ambassador who has is already just so comfortable being out in the public. And um, the day before we had him come in and was admitted injured, we got a female in. Same age, literally same injury, just on the opposite wing. Broken wing, couldn't release her. She can't fly. Um, we originally were going to use her for education as well. Um, you know, kind of, in my mind, how cool would it be to show you both genders at the same time and the size difference? Um, but she's not having it. She's got just that really stereotypical great horned owl attitude that they just always come with. And um, so she doesn't come out on programs. She has a very low tolerance for anybody. Um, but she's a great surrogate mom, and so this year she, she got babies. We gave her wow. not her own. This one or the other one? My female, not not him. Um, you know, we had two orphan chicks this year. We gave them to her, and those chicks were probably a month old, and so they needed a parent to be able to show them how to do everything. And she was perfect. Wow. And what was really cool is that, um, you know, she was raised by by me from two weeks of age so she wasn't really raised by her own parent so we weren't sure how she would do with babies of her own but that kind of maternal instinct took over and within probably a day and a half two days she was ready, ready to like attack staff to protect her kids um, and those babies ended up developing her kind of saucy personality which is only going to make them more successful as adults and so it was really neat the way that that ended up working out that she has a purpose and has a, a kind of a job uh, and a role at the rehab center and she's not just kind of hanging out there so i have a question could she ever be a mother herself could they get together so our permits prevent us from being able to do that um they don't want rehabbers to be breeding animals in captivity because then you really can't control what happens to everything um, you can acquire something called a propagation permit, but that's a really special situation. Um, not to mention with everything that we have going on at the rehab center, that's just not something where we would go towards. So we took in almost 2,300 animals last year. So, but yeah, she's great for all of the babies that come in um, that are orphans. She'll be able to do that every year with us. And mostly your goal, of course, is to let them... Out. To release them back into the wild, yeah. Yep. If we have an ambassador, they have to have, a, like, a job. So her job, because she... Her job was originally education, and that was the idea. But because she was not suited for that, her personality didn't really blend with that well, her job had to be a surrogate. If she wasn't good at that job, we had to figure out... What, what do we do then? Because we can't just keep you. And so that's that's some of the things that we have to be able to relate to people who maybe don't understand, well, why can't you just keep this non-releasable goose? Why can't you just keep this non-releasable great blue hair? And we, why can't we save everything? It's because there has to be a purpose for them. I can't just hoard things. Yeah. Yeah. It is a male. Yep. But he was maternal. <laughs> the female is. Oh, that's yeah, the female. Okay. His his kind of pseudo stepsister. So you you're gonna release him? No, nope, he cannot no. be released. Cannot. Yeah, he's not able to fly. Oh. Okay. Yep. Our ambassadors. Um, there has to be something wrong with them that prevents them from being successful. And we have to even go so far as to have a vet sign off and say, here are the issues. I have checked this bird out. I am like basically putting my name and reputation on the line saying this bird would not survive in the wild. There you go. And then U.S. Fish and Wildlife and DNR has to say, all right, that sounds good. So they're native to this area? They are, yeah. He was found in Munster. Munster, yeah. Yep. And then the female we have was from South Bend. But we get them from, I mean, all over, really. We cut them from Chesterton, Lowell. One of the chicks this year was from Lowell. One of the chicks was from Crown Point. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for coming in. Awesome. Bye, Harrison. Oh, that was good.
I never thought of doing that. How was that? This episode of the Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by. Booking your YOLO vacation. Hey, I'm Callie, your land and cruise expert. I specialize in fun across Europe, the Caribbean, and even Hawaii. Whether you are traveling by land or by sea, the person to book it, of course, would be me. 